Hey guys, integers need a little bit of banjo music. Always think they do. So this uh, for grade six sevens is going to be the first time some of you have ever seen this. It's just my tea. It's cold in here today. Um, and for eight nines, it'll be a review. So the first thing we're going to take a look at today is this whole thing about integers. Now remember, we start with whole numbers. Whole numbers are things like one, two, three, four. Uh, then we go into uh, natural numbers, which are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now we're getting into integers. Integers look like this. Positive 3, negative 2, positive 16, negative 300. Notice how they have two components to them. The first component they have is this little thing called a sign. You'll also notice that when I do integers, I'll put brackets around them pretty much all the time. That's standard Canadian convention. But there's only one number in them. So when we do order of ops, it doesn't really matter that they're in brackets. We just use them as they are. My camera's glitching out, but we'll see. Well, hopefully everything works out okay here. So integers. The very first thing that we're going to look at is what an integer actually means. So if this is my number line, positive is always going to be to the right. Negative is always going to be to the left. Similar to when you have, like, um, what is it called? A uh, thermometer. Positive is always up. Negative is always down. So when we look at this, if I say where would positive 3 be on the number line, well, we'd start at 0 and positive would go 1, 2, 3. A positive 1 moves me 1 to the right. Does that sound a little familiar? It's kind of like base 10. So positive 3 would be to the right of the 0, 3 steps. What about negative 2? Where do you think negative 2 is going to be? Did you say it? I didn't hear you. You've got to be a little louder. I'm also looking for a different color pen here. There we go. So negative is going to go to the left. So I'm going to go 1, 2 steps to the left. So this is negative 1 and negative 1. So a positive step goes to the right, negative step goes to the left. Let's do something. I wasn't going to do this, but let's try it. Let's do positive 3 and then add negative 2. Where do you think we're going to end up? This is where things get kind of interesting because now we've got to think about our steps. So the first thing, positive 3. There's my 0 right there. I'm going to start at 0 always because we don't know where we're going. Now we go positive 3, positive 3 goes to the right. Positive 1, positive 1, positive 1. So now I've gotten to positive 3. That's my first stop on this little road. Now I'm going to add negative 2. So adding it means we're just going to combine them. So I have to take two steps back. I'm going to go negative 1, negative 1. I'm going to end up right at this spot. Well if this is 0, this is going to be positive 1. That's the basics behind integers, and that's pretty much all you need to know um, right up through grade 7. But we're going to take it a little bit farther. Why? Because, well, you know me. I'm never satisfied with the minimum. So what I want you to think about right now is I want you to think about two teams. So let's have the, let's have the Calgary Flames. Actually, no. Change that. We're going to do the analogy I did with my 8 9s. We're going to go to a dance. And on this side, we're going to have four boys. And in this gym, we also have six girls. These represent kind of two different teams. Now, I'm not saying boys and girls are opposite. But when we look at integers, we are looking at opposites. So if I have positive 3, what's the opposite of positive 3? It's going to be negative 3. So these are called opposite pairs. So what that means on the number line is that if I go forward 3 and then I go back 3, where am I going to end up? I'm going to end up right at 0. Okay? So this is a 0 pair. They're opposite pairs. That's kind of the whole premise that we're going to be working with. 
So uh, next week uh, uh, for six sevens, I'm going to give you number lines. We're going to play around with this. But I want you to try this this week. So here I have four boys and six girls. If this is a dance in the ideal world, every girl would have someone to dance with. But in this case, it doesn't quite work out. So I have this boy and this girl. They pair up and dance. This girl and this boy, this one here. So I've got four couples. So all of the boys are gone. I've got four girls. Who are dancing. How many girls do I have left over? I have two girls left over. So if we look at this as this is our positive team and this is our negative team, what do we have left over? I have positive two girls left over. Let's take a look at this as an equation. Boys negative four plus girls positive six. So here we look at the teams. I have a negative team and a positive team. That's all we need to know. Don't worry about positive or negative right now. Just look at the teams. Which team has the bigger number? In this case, it's the positive or the girls. We're going to keep that sign. That's the sign. And if every one of these boys pairs up with a girl, how many girls do I have left over? I've got two. That's actually the answer. It's going to be positive two. So we can think about this in terms of teams. We can think about it on a number line. For this week, I'd like you to try and do it this way because it's just, it, it's kind of fun. Really what we're doing is we end up finding the difference between the two numbers. Try this one. Let's do positive 10 plus uh, minus 16. Say it in your head. Which team is bigger? I got a positive team and a negative team. This team has 10. This team has 16. Which team's bigger? The 16 has more players on it. So my sign and my answer is going to be negative. The negative team wins by how many players? How many more players is 16 than 10? Well, there's six more players on this team. So my answer is going to be negative six. That really is the whole idea behind adding and subtracting integers. If you need to this week, you can draw yourself a quick number line. And let's go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to go minus five. Five positive, five negative. Which way does a positive go? To the right. Let's start with this one up here. I go back four, left. A negative means left. I go one, two, three, four. I'm at negative four. How many do I go forward? I go forward six. So I'm starting at negative four. I go one, two, three, four, five, six. That's where I end up at positive two. There's my answer. So that's really short and quick. Uh, play around with it. But here's one other thing before I let you go, because this is gonna seem like it's gonna be really hard, but you're gonna see it's actually really easy. New teams, boys negative, girls positive. Here we go. Good. Still at eight minutes. Here's a team. Four boys. Here's another team. If these represent negative numbers, how many boys do I have in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got nine boys in total. Okay. So remember, boys, we're going to make negative. Negative four plus negative five. They're on the same team. So we just have more of them. This is going to equal negative nine. Okay. On a number line, this starts at zero, goes to negative 10. I would go back four, one, two, three, four to the left, takes me to negative four. Now I'm going to go five more to the left because that's a negative. One, two, three, four, five, gives me negative nine. So this is negative four and negative five. Now you're ready for the really hard one. Remember, you can pause this video whenever you want. So if they're on the same team, here we go. We got girls and why are girls blue? Why not? <laughs> I have four girls and I have two girls. How many girls in total? Six. I already answered it for you. So over here we have positive four plus positive two. Well, hopefully you don't have to think too much about that. It's the same as four plus two. If they're on the same team, keep the sign and add. 
These ones would go four to the right and then two more to the right. All right, have fun with that guys. Uh, again, if you struggle with it, you can't get this. See what you can figure out. Take a look online. There's some stuff on Khan Academy or you can send me a message. Remember, I haven't taught this to you yet. I want you to see what you can do with it before I even start to teach it. And if you get it, we'll push you forward. And if you don't, we'll work on it some more next week. Talk to you soon. See you in the next video.